Well, hey, Emily, this is RJ. I just wanted to send you a little video because I know you're going to have this conversation with your uncle today. And I thought this would help clarify and just make sure you don't forget any of these points. So first of all, kind of what happens to a $150 electric bill if we multiply it times 1.055% inflation, 157 in year two, three, That's five years of inflation. Uh, so that's 190 a month. And then if you do, let's say your bill is actually 175 times 1.05 equals, that's your one, two, three, four, five. So that's where the bill will go in five years. <clears throat> so keep these points in mind, one, two, three, four, and five. One, how would you even know a lot of people like how do you even know if you're going to get if they're going to pay more for your home with solar like they're going to give you a price you're going to have a price how do you know how much is really coming for the solar well you don't sell it for more just transfer the loan that's the way you would know that you're not getting you know you're not losing anything because you went solar and that they would take on that payment secondly Imagine if you're the buyer for ones, okay, and the seller that you wanted to buy your house from when you go to the new house, let's say they said, okay, fine, you don't want to pay more for solar, fine, I'll just take the panels off. You're going to have this electric bill. So you're not getting out of a payment. They, I mean, the, you would know that you're not getting out of the payment. Are you going to want a payment that is not fixed and always rises and never ends? Or are you going to want a payment that you know exactly what it is and they don't have to take the panels off? They're probably going to want to like, you know, if they're confronted, I mean, it is your right. You can take the panels off, cost about two or $3,000 and put them on your new house, which costs another two or $3,000. Then, you know, they're just, you're not going to lose the sale and they're going to end up having a huge question mark, you know. Then third, the point is, imagine that you're buying a business, okay? Think of this is just like one of the pieces of equipment in the factory of a business that you're buying, or imagine that you're selling your business or two different businessmen are, you know, negotiating a business sale, whatever, right? Do you think it's logical for the buyer of the business to say they're not going to pay for any of the equipment, any of the factory equipment? They're going to go, hey, I'm just going to value your building and your land, but all the equipment, I just want you to sell it to me for free. No, probably not. You know, it's probably not going to make a lot of sense. Um, I mean, any seller would laugh at the buyer for saying that. Like, no, I have $50,000 of equipment here. I have $200,000 of equipment here. I'm not selling my equipment for free. It's part of the business. I'm not selling my solar for free. It's part of the house. If I put an addition on the house, I'm not selling the addition for free. It's part of the house. The house is more valuable when you put an addition on it. Uh, and so it's really just, you know, asserting that with any home buyer that's trying to say, oh, well, I don't want to pay more for solar and I don't want solar on the house. Well, my house has solar. You know, I can take it off and then you get this electric bill. We go back to number two. Um, but number four, the bill for electric right now, we already went over. That's the inflation. We just did that. Lastly, if you're choosing between two equally priced homes, so they just imagine they're looking at two homes for the same price. One of them has solar and one of them doesn't. Okay. The, the one that doesn't, they're equally priced. They know it's coming with a couple hundred dollars a month extra on that quote unquote mortgage payment because it doesn't ha it has an electric bill it's like another $200 they're going to have to add on to that cash flow payment when they decide to buy that house or they buy a house that doesn't have that 200 bucks do you think they'd pay you know another 200 on a mortgage payment instead of paying it to an electric company yeah they probably would it's going to be basically the same thing to them but they're going to know on the one hand it's not going up you know if they get the one that's fixed so again you know which one would you buy Homes with solar, what we found, Emily, and I'm going to send you the study too on, uh, from Berkeley uh, that shows, you know, 22,000 different homes that were surveyed, but they found that they sell easier and they sell faster and they sell for more because the decision does make sense to go solar. And there's other going to be other young home buyers that want to have solar, that look for solar, that are only looking for homes with solar, that search for that as a filter too. So what you're going to find is that this is going to be a real easy decision for other people and, and a value that other people recognize pretty easily. So hopefully that all makes sense um, and that makes the conversation easier to remember all those points. If you need anything due or if you have any, if he has any concerns and he's not all for it, 
do give me the you know the ability to just speak with them i appreciate it i won't be pushy okay but thanks so much for your business and you know congrats again um look, looking forward to hearing from you today all right talk to you soon